Max Reaction. How are you doing today on this Wednesday? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing fantastic. And you should be. I hope you are. Hopefully you're not sick. Because a lot of us have been sick lately. Um, I just, I'm getting over it. Some of my subscribers are just now getting sick. And I wish you well. So hopefully everybody can be healthy soon. Anyway, we're going to react to What Do You Want to Be? By Reed Flower 101. This was subscriber requested. So I love fulfilling MRA subscriber requested videos. First time I'm ever going to watch the animation and their stories. But I know, I know, I know my subscribers, my MRA members send me to the right places with great quality. So I know it's going to be good. What do you want to be? I'm assuming what do you want to be like when you grow up? Um, I'll let you know what I wanted to be. What I wanted to, when I when I was growing up, what I wanted to be. I'll let you know after the video. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's react to it. We'll talk about it afterwards. I'll tell you what I want to be, and then you'll comment down below and tell me what you wanted to be. But wait till after the video, guys. Let's check it out. Let's what do, do you this. Want to be when you grow up, when you're a kid, this is a fun question. Yes. You have limited knowledge of what jobs are out there anyway. Teacher, athlete, firefighter, doctor. Princess and whatever your those are the common is. ones. It's just a personality question adults like to ask, like your favorite color or favorite movie. But when you get older, that question comes with expectations. Yes. It's possible to answer wrong, and even if the answer is honest. Sometimes it's school, hard to know what you want to be too. Pressure to come on you to choose and choose well is enough to stress anyone out. A lot of my friends in university have been forced to choose a path, but they still don't really know. And I then they change afterwards. When you ask people what they want to be, they imagine stereotypes. Sure, I could be a lawyer, they think, images of law and order on their mind. But the day-to-day -day life <laughs> right? of a lawyer isn't like that. We no. should be asking what people want to do. What they could enjoy doing, day in, day out. What would you like to do? Life. But our school system doesn't give kids a chance to find out. I know out what I'd like to do. Be. Because what do kids do, day in, day out? School. Academics. With few exceptions. And a lot of pointless kids ones. Kids try a career before they buy. Sure, kids might have hobbies. But as anyone who's tried to turn a hobby into a full-time job will tell you, it's a totally different experience from doing it a few hours a week. Not everyone can make that transition, and a lot of people. Plus, you got to earn money at it. Sucks the enjoyment out of it. Even that word enjoyment is a problem. <laughs> My generation was raised to believe that you should follow your passion, and anything less is a failure somehow. Nothing could be further from the truth. You could absolutely live a life where you work a job you tolerate just to pay the bills. Then spend your free time with the people you care about. And you get to explore your hobbies pressure-free. In right. many ways, that's better than knowing what you want and doing anything to achieve it. it makes because sense. being passionate about something is not endless bliss where angels sing songs about creativity and rainbow shoot out of your pencil. It's hard work. For one thing, it means really caring about the quality of your work. Like, really, really caring. Really. Every time I post art, I have so much anxiety. Is it good enough? Am I good enough? You are good enough. Everyone's going to notice all these mistakes. I shouldn't post this, it's no good. So then there's plan B. By that I mean, if I can't become an artist, then what's what? my backup plan? Hmm. I think about this constantly. I'll pick up a job idea, obsess over it for a week, and then drop it. <laughs> over and over again. It's there hard to choose. Really a good plan B Sometimes it chooses you. Anymore. It seems like every industry is struggling right now. Everything's more competitive, and the wages are lower, and it's only going to get worse. Automation is going to take over faster than you think. I'd like to end this video with answers, I agree. I don't think there are any. Not easy ones, anyway. But I do know what I want to be when I grow up. What? Happy. Happy! Happy is a good thing that you should want to be. We all want to be happy. I always preach happiness in the videos in the beginning. We need to be happy. What hap oh, you can't buy happiness, can you? Like, you can buy things to make you happy, but the happiness doesn't last. So what is true happiness? Anyway, we're getting off topic. Um, what do you want to be? What did I want to be when I grew up? I wanted to be, can you guess? I've told you in some of my live streams. I wanted to be one of those people, one of the scientists that chase tornadoes. Oh, aren't tornadoes beautiful? I mean, like when they're out, when they're out in like a cornfield or something, where they're not destructing or killing or hurting anybody but just a tornado itself i think they're beautiful i love weather i love weather i wanted to be a tornado scientist i wanted to chase them 
I wanted to gather the data, I wanted to film them, and I wanted to help people because they gather data to give better warnings to save people. So I think that's a good goal of mine when I was small. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't chase the dream hard enough. Because I probably could have been that if I would have chased the dream hard enough. So, I mean, things that we want to be, it changes usually. But that one of mine hasn't changed. I wanted to be like that. I wanted to be that since I was this tall. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know why I didn't chase it, but I didn't. So, And there was no backup plan. So I'm, I'm stuck with doing something I really don't like to do. But... Pays the bills, it supports my family, but maybe I can get away from that one day. Who knows? So, I don't know. What do you want to be? And if you're truly passionate about it, it's going to take a lot of hard work to get to it. But don't give up like I did. Chase it. Chase it. It may change, and there ain't nothing wrong with that. You might end up wanting to do something else. But chase it. It doesn't hurt. Put the hard work. It's good to put hard work into it. And if you're passionate about it and you love it, you're going to be happy doing it. And she she said, be happy. That's what she wants to be, so that would make you happy. But anyway, if you want, comment down below. Let me know what you wanted to be. I'd love to read them. I'd love to respond, guys. If you want to become an MRA member, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already an MRA member, you should be sharing these videos so we can grow our channel. Because you know we're taking YouTube over one subscriber at a time, right? I'm going to link the video down below. Check the channel. They deserve way, 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 way more subscribers. So go subscribe to them. Check the other videos out, and next time you choose a reaction, you know what to do. You should always choose a max reaction, because we're the best in the world, baby. Peace.